Hi guys, it's Silverett again, and I decided to use my old intro again because this is a very special occasion. And you may ask, why is this a special occasion? Well, as you might notice, I'm not moving around as much on the time lapse, and that's something that I thought of. And I have no idea how it took me, uh, like, 13 months or something like that to think of this, as well as the other already uh, out there Let's Players who are also doing this. But uh, I figured that I might as well try and build in such a way that the time lapses actually don't move around all the time. And even though this was actually quite annoying, and of course I did have to move around uh, quite a lot because... Obviously, you're gonna have to look at buildings from many sides and stuff, but I try to not look around when placing objects on one side, for example, as I'm doing right now. And even though it seems like I'm kind of moving around quite a lot on the time lapse, that's because it's sped up eight times. But yeah, but that's the idea. Now, this was kind of not that great of an idea, and I always kind of, well, didn't want to do this because, of course, if I actually build things, I don't do it with the idea of making a nice time lapse. Of course, that's just a nice product that I get because I'm recording, but then again, it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is, of course, to get the building done right. And at this point, I would have to concentrate less on the building and also on the way that I'm building it. So I don't know if that's a good idea, but then again, it did prove, well, pretty successful at, at least making a good video. And the thing that I got in the end wasn't all that bad, and I'm actually pretty happy about it. But you'll see that in a moment, of course. And really, my explanation to this entire building, also I'm going to add another building to this, and you're going to see that one as well. But my only explanation that I have to this is to kind of go into the general style that I already had going for this park. It's very similar to the buildings that I have throughout the park. It has that same, and ugh, that spire is absolutely horrendous. Uh, it's a good idea that I remove that thing, but... What I wanted to do with this building, anyway, was to get something over there, because I needed something. And then at some point I was like, oh damn it, I need a restaurant. And somebody requested, well, didn't request it, how is that a request? Somebody said that I should build a restaurant, and I was like, yeah, that's actually a good idea, because I have this huge park and only one tiny restaurant. So I decided to build another one next to this building, and this building, by the way, is completely useless. As in, I don't know what kind of function it should have. There are too many buildings in this park which don't have any function other than... Uh, it looks cool. That's just uh, my idea about this park. If you want to build realistic stuff, do not look at this park. Or at least you can look at it. But then disregard it in terms of how you should build. Because this is not very realistic. I just wanted to go over the top and do whatever I want. And this is starting to become the result of that. Though that's not meant in a very negative sense. Just kind of uh, neutral, I suppose. But yeah, this building is very similar in a sense that of course I'm using Shy Guys Alpine Village again. Especially for the roofs, because I, I actually did hear someone complaining about, and that was in the sky by the way, that I use these roofs too often, and I was I looked today, I'm like, yeah, I've been doing that for years actually. And the reason for that is, they're user-friendly, but they also look good. They have the nice, uh, sexy uh, wooden beams. And uh, I don't know why, I, I just like them. I like to use them, and I like the look of them. And I'd rather overuse these things than use other roofs, because I do have plenty of other roofs that I also know how to work with and also have. But then again, I like them less, and I'd rather just have something that I like the look of and disregard the fact that I've already used it very often in various projects. And I usually say that you have to get away from your comfort zone but in this case, my comfort zone can fit into things that are not my comfort zone. And that would be Shy Guys, Alpine Village, Roofs, plus Steampunk and Industrial and Spooky and all that. But aside from that, this building is not that... As, as, as I said, this building is not that different. But I decided to add some other elements in this building that I haven't added or haven't added very often in other buildings. And one of those things is I finally decided to actually use my walls from my sci-fi set, which I absolutely hate, and that's the reason why I've never actually really released any of my custom scenery sets, but you can download them in my style-themed folder, so I suppose I don't feel too guilty about that, because I do always uh, nag about others who don't release their custom scenery sets. But I think that's beside the point. But anyway, I, I felt that it might be useful, and it did pr prove pretty useful, especially those arcs. 
If, if I did feel like this set would have a use, those arcs are there, sole reason. And the texture of the roof, of course, but that was Google Images, not me. I just had to look for brick walls and search on Google Images long enough before I got anything. And I don't know if that's a copyright issue, but it's... I think it was actually a copyright free one, so I don't give a shit. And uh, this, at this point, I started working on the restaurant, and by the way, that black little thing over there is gonna be a future flat ride. I still just have to install some flat rides. Because that's me, once again. I did install a couple of flat rides, but then I didn't install them right. And I also tried getting Imagineer John's pirate ship, but then everything crashed and I was like, nope, this is not happening. And then I just removed it again. So back at square one. So I'm gonna have to find some CFRs, actually. And I'm not that good at that because I never really spent too much time with that. Because even though I've been playing Rollercoaster Second 3 for years, I've only started getting into parks for like two years, maybe three. And I still don't even have too many CFRs because every time I would build a park, I would get the specific CFRs that I wanted. And this saves time, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. Because for one, if you want other CFRs, you're going to have to close your game again and find another CFR and it's going to take you ages. And if you do have many CFRs in your game, it might lag the game up, but then again, you might get some ideas from it, or just place one anyway, because you have it already. So I'd say that's a better idea than doing what I'm doing and not have any CFRs. But yeah, that's that. Also, I didn't say yet this yet, but I've actually been inspired by Western themes for this building. And I kind of like the pillows. I don't know, they're just that kind of neoclassical influence. Those pillars uh, with the cornices that kind of have that round arky feeling on it. It just makes it like it's an arc with neoclassical pillars or something. I don't know, I like it. It's very much like it's an actual classical building, but except it's made out of wood and other random things. And at this point I was kind of trying to get a right little edge for the wall over there. I, I thought at some point that I could make a custom scenery set which would have random stones that you could place on the edges of, of walls because I can see that many people keep using the same ones as in Shy Guys Alpine Village 3 has those things and Pat's Efteling set has those things and many people use the same ones but there's not too much of a variety there is there is of course Ralphie's Beaver Homes one but that kind of has a weird texture that's very light and didn't really work on the themes like this but I guess that's an idea I'll play around with later on and at this point, actually, I didn't really like the shape of the building. I, I still think it makes no, absolutely no sense. It's a weird building, really. And it doesn't have any interiors because I had no idea how to tackle that. I I'm not too sure if it actually looks like a restaurant, except for, of course, the outside with all the tables and... Oh, that's so cute. I don't know why. I like tables. <laughs> oh, I did, I, that came out wrong. I, I don't anyway, yeah, yeah, now you can conclude that I like tables. I don't know why. I just like the look of them. That's That's it. Pretty much. And the same goes for those windows, anyway. And at that point, I looked at Station Chips Gardening. I think this is two. And was like, what's this? And there's that weird thing. And I have no idea what, it, what that actually is. It's, it's supposed to be like a, a flower or something. I have no idea what to actually do with those things. I Sometimes I need to look that up for custom scenery sets. I'm sure I'm not the only one when it comes to this. But sometimes you just have custom scenery sets and you have these objects. And of course, as for me, because I'm not even a native English speaker, sometimes I don't even know the words. Why do I... Oh my god, I need to stop that, doing that. But then it, you have these pieces in a custom scenery set and you just have no idea what to do with it and you, you wish you could actually look into the brain of the custom scenery creator and be like what did you mean for me to do with this thing and then I go ahead and do something with it that you're totally not supposed to do and that's kind of how I feel about those wooden things underneath the is it even a balcony it's not like a pier either I guess it's a balcony pier or whatever you call those things and I don't know why if that's actually what I'm supposed to do but it looks cool so yeah, why not go for it? I, w I would say that sometimes you just have to screw realism in the most simple ways and just go for whatever looks cool. Or whatever you like, of course, because that also makes sense. And I, I decided to add, add those lights because apparently those lights don't make any sense when it comes to the theme of this park. But that's just what I love about the theme of this park. Because as soon as people say, hey, that doesn't make sense, that's not correct, that is an, uh, that's like an anachronism or something like that, I can say, no. This theme makes no sense. I am right. You are wrong. My opinion is correct. And anyway, that sounds really terrible. But that's it for this episode. So thank you for watching and bye. Oh.
Nice buildings, though. I'm glad that I got these things done in this episode.